Hello, welcome back to Questing Mayhem. In between episodes, I have done some mining with my Silk Touch pickaxe, uh, which I made in the last episode. Specifically, I, uh, and this was, I was able to get, um, Silk Touch ores, specifically lapis, coal, redstone, and diamond ore, which you can see in here. Um, these are the ores I specifically self-touched where I would have otherwise not gotten um, the ore. For instance, I would have gotten diamonds instead of diamond ore if I had used my regular pickaxe. This explains why I have iron ore. This is the basic Minecraft information. This will help us complete, uh, finally, the diamond uh, seed quest in the agricraft, uh, farming with agricraft section, and overall just make it um, just help us progress in the agricraft section because, of course, these seeds require the appropriate actual ore below them. So that's just something to keep in mind. That being said, let's start with these redstone seeds um, by crossbreeding daisy seeds and red tulip seeds. Red straw, redstone dendron seeds must be placed in crop sticks and tilled soil with redstone ore below that reduces redstone dust. So this is a way we can get a lot of redstone very fast. Um, and kind of passively. Now, keep in mind, we do have actually a lot of redstone already. We have like a stack and some in this chest, and even more in the jewels and dusts, and like there's like blocks of it and whatnot. But it's always going to be nice to have more redstone. We'll definitely need it in the future. So, let's take a look at uh, just keep this up on uh, NEI. So we need uh, the redstone ore, so let me take, uh, for, of course I'm going to be putting this in, uh, initially creating this in the, um, uh, kind of crop stick, uh, or crop mutation area here, so I will need to dig down a little bit and place this redstone ore, um, and this is also going to be where I'm tent -tent tenting it, so I'll probably tent 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 the seeds as I get them, just so I don't have to keep on replacing uh, the ore below them every single time, and I think that should work out fine. So I need a hoe, of course I do, it would be dumb to stop farming without a hoe. Uh, here we go, there, so that will work fine. Okay, and crop sticks, my god, I should have really prepared a little bit more, at least like, at all. I should have prepared just... I had some thought about that, but oh well. Do I even have crop sticks anywhere? Good question. Um, let's see here. Yes, I do. Of course, they'd be in farming where they should be. Only seven, though. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'm going to get a bit more wood, I think. Actually, we probably have wood in the chests. Yeah, we have a little bit. That should be enough, maybe? No, that well, that barely got, got us any, of course. Um, my mistake. So let's just, like, take all of this spruce wood, take this, and, um, there we go. This should get us at least a little bit more, enough to get us by for now. And I can put the rest of the wood in there, probably to be used later on in this episode. Okay. So we have the redstone ore under there, we have the crop sticks needed. Let's place two here. Perfect. And what do we need exactly um, for these seeds? We need the daisy seeds and the tulip seeds. And there's always going to be something I'm forgetting, and today that is the clippers to get the seeds. That's fine. Uh, once I have all, everything from the chests, I will not need to get it again. Okay. So, well, for the last time, daisy seeds and red tulip seeds. Perfect. So we have two daisy seeds here, and red tulip, specifically red tulip and not poppy seeds. Perfect. Okay, so let's put like the quest book away. We won't need that for a while. Only got... Oh, that's weird. Oh, okay, that's weird. Don't know why that's happening. Uh, very strange. Okay. Hopefully it's not going to be a problem. I feel like it may be a problem though. And watering can. One second. Alright. So it's now the process we were doing like two episodes ago. Just sit and wait. Water them up. 
and hopefully we'll get redstone seeds. And then, um, so I'm going to be taking more frequent breaks, if you remember last time. I kind of did a bunch of seeds, and then, there we go. And then I would, uh, tent and tent them. Now I'm just going to be tent and tenting these redstone seeds, because I already have the redstone underneath it. But luckily they're 6-5, six, six, so it shouldn't take long. Uh, I'm going to cut tent and tent these, because it's, frankly, one of the most boring things in this entire batch. And I'll be back. I suppose I should also, um, show, like, that you can just right-click these and get, like, Redstone from redstone dust from them, it's very nice. Um, and then obviously, the more we get that uh, gain stat up, the more redstone I'll get out of it. And so we just got six out of it, so no increase, but that's uh, seven, seven, so I'm gonna take that. Um, yeah, I just remembered, like, I went straight into um, ten tending, ten, ten tending them without uh, actually, you know, doing anything with them. So that's fine, um, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, if my guess is correct, these, uh, crossbred seeds should be a 10-10-10, the last were 10 8, 8 and we have a 10 10 9. that sucks. Um, but I suppose there's no harm in doing one small, quick crossbreeding session on camera, so just place the excess seeds in there, Grow these 10, 10, 9 seeds up because we're definitely 100% going, going to get um, the 10, 10, 10 seeds after this one mutation. So it should be fine. And like, I'm only going to have to get three clippings because it's like the strength of 9 and that's determ that determines um, how, what the probability of the clippings working are. So granted, there is a small possibility of um, the clippings not working, but like, oh well. Um, so I've only seen it happen one or two times where there would be no stat increases, so it, that may happen this time, knowing my luck with the recording and whatnot, it may. But hopefully that is not a thing that happens, and we will see in 10 seconds that it is not a thing that happens. Amazing. So that is, um, well, it was a quest complete a while ago, but, you know. I kind of got ahead of myself, but that's fine. Uh, I've also accidentally been breaking, like, a bunch of, um, ender, ender seeds today, so that's been a fun adventure. Uh, let me get some soul sand sale to place more ender seeds down on. And you know what? I have a decent amount of ender pills. I'll, I'll use an ender pill for the first time. Why not? Perfect. Uh, yes, a zombie died. It's fun. Place that there, there we go. So, yeah, um, unfortunately, I can't right click these to uh, get the ender pill, so I have to break them, but it gives me more seeds, so that's always fun. Um, just means I have to run back inside and get more soul sand, which is not ideal, but oh well. Um, it's fine because we're going to be making an ender generator, I think, fairly soon, maybe? Question mark. Uh, so that'll be fun. And uh, now that we have like a reliable source of ender pills, anyway. And that ender generator will uh, produce a lot of power, um, so we'll have an excess, hopefully, maybe. Uh, but more on that, like, in the next two episodes or whatever. Perfect. Uh, bird. Give me the bird. Right, and now we're going to take the uh, redstone ore out. You'll be able to silk touch that. There we go. And, of course, I fell in. It's fine. There we go. Uh, so I'll make that better in a second. Uh, let's just, for now, yeah, let's, let's make this crop here, redstone seeds. So, I'll need to mine in one, it's like here then. Okay. And it's only two up? No, it's, it, it'll be three up, so, yeah, there we go. So, we're going to be placing redstone ore below these nine blocks. And this is, of course, required, uh, to plant the redstone agricap seeds. So, for instance, if I take agricap seeds here, uh, these are the 10, 10, 10 ones, uh, inventory space is a real issue. I can plant them down. I guess they won't grow if I plant them down. Yeah, it's not looking like they're gonna grow. You see at the top, they're still 0%, even though I'm holding the water and can't over them. And so, but if I plant them, for instance, making sure I at the moment, but we actually have them. Alright, so, uh, 
these right here. Uh, plant them here, use the watering can on them, they start going pretty much immediately. So that's cool. Um, of course, I will need to get like eight more clippings of it, and I will also need to get more redstone ore now that I think about it. I'll need to get like four more ore, but that should be plenty. Uh, Unplus our stores. Here we go. I made sure to get enough ore um, to, you know, uh, so it could actually be useful. I knew that I wanted to have nine by nine, uh, or three by three crop fields, and so I needed to make sure I had at least nine ore of each. And I I think diamond is the only one I have five of, but diamond is really hard to come by. So I'm gonna mine up those excess redstone ore. May regret that later, but oh well. Um, and we'll put that with the rest of redstone. There we go. And place the red the rest of redstone here. That's a nine by nine. Perfect. Um, and these are mature, so I can take up, like, all this, uh, of course, it's not enough, but it's fine. And, yeah, so we're gonna be, like, too short, but with a bit of water and cane magic, like here, you can get those extra, extra two. And now we have a 9 by 9 or a 3 by 3 field of redstone seeds. Amazing. First, redstone crop complete. Could have gotten those, but oh well, I mean, I guess I'll get them just to throw them away. I'll put them in this chest to be thrown away later, but oh well. And we also get some redstone out of that, which is amazing. So, that unlocks, of course, the lavender seeds were already unlocked, but that also unlocked Kapusha seeds and Avi Gold seeds, which, as you may expect, is copper and gold. Um, my ultimate goal for this episode is to get to the diamond seeds, and I'm not sure which path uh, most efficiently takes me there. Like, I'm not sure if Copper seeds will get me closer to diamond seeds, or like gold seeds will take me closer to diamond seeds. I honestly can't remember, even though I made the quests. So, um, I have the lapis, so let's just do the lapis, I guess. Uh, that should be fine. I only have four, I only have five lapis actually, uh, so, you know, maybe an issue, but I'll do some silk touch mining in between episodes as well, the second time, and, uh, hopefully get enough to have a three by three of all of the uh, crops that we make today. That's the goal anyway. Uh, it would be nice actually if we could look up Lavender. I need keyboards, it's hard to type. Uh, so yeah, the, uh, that's uh, Blue Orchid and Pink Tulip. So Blue Orchid, take two of them, and Pink Tulip is here. Perfect. So you can kind of see how, why the ore seeds were unlocked after the, like, these seeds, which we did two episodes ago, because they all, the ore seeds are made from these seeds, so it was really beneficial to tent tent in all these seeds, um, even though they may not be the most useful, like, they only give us dye, and there's no real use for dye right now, um, they're very useful for creating these very useful seeds, so that's why I went ahead and tent 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 all of these, uh, previously. It makes this process a lot faster, which I think is good. So, uh, one quickly watering can all these up. Get them mature and ready to produce our lapis seeds. Uh, this will get, of course, this crop will give us lapis, um, which there's not much of a use for, uh, at least right now. There will be somewhat of a use for it later. Granted, it's not the most used material in Questing Mayo. That would be either like redstone or iron. I'm not sure which. Also, need to go on a bit of a tree chopping adventure pretty soon. Um, let me make sure these are actually correct. We have the pink tulip, blue orchid, and there's lapis below it. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'm just getting unlucky. Just fine. Um. Alright, try, try again. Blue Orchid. Come on. Hold the right click. Blue Orchid. Come on. Blue Orchid. I feel like something's not right here. There we go, Lapidus It just took a long, long time. But it's fine. 
and they are of course like a 666, perfect. So I'll 10, 10, 10 these and put them over there and we'll move on to the next seed. Actually before we do that, let me just quickly claim the quest, it may help me in future. There we go, and of course that unlocks uh, Beranium seeds, which I believe are iron seeds, yeah, it produces iron nuggets. So we'll do one of those few quests next. Okay, once again, 10, 10, 10 lapidus seeds should be a go this next cross food cycle, so I'll just do this on camera. So fast, it should not take too long, at least that's the hope. So these are 9 10, 10 uh, so it shouldn't be no problem, there should be no problem with um, crossbreeding or like, I can just take 3 because there's a guaranteed chance of um, the clippings working and I can grow these up fairly fast, although the growth is the 9 instead of the 10. <coughs> But it's fine. And we can plant to these five only because, of course, there's only five. Um, I only have five lapis ore um, by the redstone ore, and I will work to get more lapis ore in between episodes. Once the weeds actually cross the weed. Nope, weeds. Um, I'm gonna have to cut in a minute anyway for, uh, to get more wood or um, crop sticks. And 10, 10, 10. Amazing. So let's just, uh, I guess, grab, put these like over here. I'll just do the nine. Um, for now, just to remind myself, hey, need to get more lapis seeds, um, more lapis ore. And actually, I should probably, it would be a good idea, I think, to, uh, you know, Put the lapis ore down there. I once again got a bit ahead of myself. But it's fine. And I need to take the lapis ore. Oh my god, there we go. I need to take the lapis ore from this. Let's see here. Perfect. And. Fill up. Ah, yes. Weeds have already begun sprouting. Amazing. Yeah, so only five now, but that should be fine. Uh, I think this, I just have to remember which one has the uh, wall below it. And get rid of these weeds while I'm at it. Okay. Come on. Yeah, this that was a mistake, bringing all the crop sticks down immediately. My mistake. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I think this one has it. Um... I think this one has, I think those are the four that have it. No, I'm mistaken. It's, uh, this one does not have it. Okay. And this one has it instead. Okay. And just to make sure, let's see all these grow at least once. Come on. That one grow. Oh, these are not growing though. Fun, 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 fun. Come on. I done something wrong. Perhaps. Oh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. How did that happen? Yeah, so these redstones. Oh, I've, I've, I've moved everything over by one by mistake. Shoot, okay. Because, so essentially, those lapis seeds are going on redstone or. And obviously that's not ideal. So let's take this redstone ore, move it over here, and those redstone ores should start to grow. And we'll need to take these two and place them over there, I think. And this one also needs to move over one to the left. Are you guys going now? Yes, you are. You're growing. You're growing. And you are growing as well. Amazing. We have a little red, redstone lapis family. Now time to collect wood to hopefully, by the end of this episode, have enough crop sticks for diamonds. We will see. Looking in the resources chest, um, we're pretty set on copper, iron, and gold, uh, which are the next seeds to create. I feel like out of all of them, we have the least amount of gold, so I think it'll be nice to start working on the Aubrey Gold Seeds.
I'm not even sure if we have gold, uh, ore, actually, shoot. No, we don't. Well, my mistake. So let's instead start working on the iron seeds, because we actually have iron ore. I will attempt to get more gold ore in between episodes, or like in between clips, maybe. Who knows? So, granium seeds, that should be fine. Um. Okay, so, can you plan? Granium is made from lavender and white tulip. Okay, luckily we have the lavender, and you'll notice, like, the feranium wa was unlocked by the lavender because the lavender is required to get the feranium, and so there there's at least some thought in these quests, trust me. Uh, hopefully, I, I mean, I hope that they're obvious um, in terms of progression, um, because it was intended for people to notice that, so I don't know. Um, but whatever. So let's place the iron ore below here. No. Shoot. Okay. And crop sticks. I should really like that. Move the quest book out of the inventory. Put this here. Okay. Again, we're gonna get through this. And what else was required? Uh, it was the white tulip. Not the daisy, but the white tulip. One, two. Okay. Why did I move the clippers out of there? I don't know. Okay. Perfect. And grow. I'll go to bed once I have the perennium seeds. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. Come on, Lapidus Seeds. You, you guys... Oh, of course. Shoot, I forgot. Um, right, my mistake. I need to move two of the, uh, Lapidus Seeds from under here, because, of course, the Lapidus Seeds actually need to grow. I mean, they don't have to grow, um, to crossbreed, but I'm pretty sure it makes it more efficient, or increases the chances if they have if they're fully grown. So let me do that real fast. There we go. Now you're gonna grow. Yay! Thank you, Lapidus Seeds. You're amazing. Although, albeit not very useful. Mature and. Mature. Okay. Uh, take the hoe and cross it up. Come on, iron. Burnium seeds. Yay! Da 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 da. We're moving through these quests pretty fast, which I'm happy about. Five, five, six. Could have been better, but you know what? Oh well. So that completes that quest. Unfortunately, it does not unlock the diamond seeds like I thought it would. That sucks. Um, okay. I'll attempt to attend these, and yeah, also think about what I want the next seed to be. I'll be back. The iron seeds have been planted. They are these kind of red crops in the very back here. Again, I will get more lapis or in between episodes. Now, looking at the next seeds to create, we're actually kind of at a roadblock here because I surprisingly don't have any copper ore laying around. I don't have any gold ore laying around. Those are the two that surprise me the most. I also don't have any aluminum laying around, aluminum ore laying around uh, for the jazz lumen seeds, which produce aluminum, as you may guess, nor lead um, ore laying around. And emerald, as I think everyone should expect, I'm not in a mountain biome, so I don't get emerald ore yet. However, um, there is one thing I would like to do uh, before the end of this, the episode that may help us get some of those ores. Um, but it does require, require a bit of a prologue. So recently I noticed in the exploration section that progress seems to have been deleted. Don't know how that happened in the slightest, because um, we recently got up to quartz, the, these quartz blocks here. Um, and then I logged in one day, looked at the exploration tab, and everything was gone. So I don't know how that happened. Um, hopefully it's not that big of an issue. Um, I know we can we can get the quest back fairly easily, because, like, I have a flint and steel here. That completes that portion of the quest, at least I think it should. Maybe, we'll see. I can always just make another flint and steel, it's cheap. Um, and then obsidian we can get very easily, we just need to get some buckets. 
Uh, two should be actually plenty. Put the hoe away. And, um, yeah, just get lava and continuously dump it in here until we get 14. So, yeah, that, it's just going to take a little bit of time, but that should be fine. And when we get to the nether, uh, I, we can get to the nether right now. I do have the portal open. Um, it's just I would like to get these quests back on track sooner, than, sooner rather than later. That's all. Um, so when we get to the nether, uh, I would like to uh, kind of explore and see if I can't find any of the um, ores, nether ores, that is required of me to get. Uh, now that I have a silk touch pickaxe, I will be able to get ores like a uh, coal, nether coal ore, which uh, without silk touch just drops coal dust and the lap nether lapis ore and all that stuff. So it should be fun. Uh, we just need two more pieces. Hello? Um, it seems... There we go. Just didn't register. Okay. And the flint steel apparently is not working, which sucks, sort of. Um, but you know what? I can just make another flint steel. We have, like, more flint that I know what to deal with, to do with, and we have plenty of iron. So you know what? It's not that big of a deal. Uh, perfect. I guess because it's not fully repaired. So I am actually going to, um, go with these rewards away. Because it seems unfair, because I technically had completed the reward and got the reward, but uh, didn't seem to recognize it, so that's fine. Um, it does want us to collect 64 netherrack, though, which I should have, maybe? I think I should have. Yeah, 64 netherrack. Good, and then, of course, 32 soul sand. I have. Amazing. Again, going to throw these rewards away. Of course, maybe an issue, perhaps. Um, we have not much, it seems like. Yeah, um, valuables, no. Crafting. Unfossus, unfossus. We've been fossus, yeah. So we have 33 nether quartz. And I do think we should have some quartz blocks, perhaps. Block of quartz, yes, here we go. And so if we uncombine that, we have like so much nether quartz, uh, so we can claim that, again, we're going to be throwing that away. Um, and then we need the block of quartz, which is fair enough. Um, I may want to do this off camera, but, like, we're almost done anyway, so it should be fine. That's actually not going to be enough, is it? What happened to the rest of my quartz, I wonder? Interesting. Yes, very interesting. Um... Would it be no? Oh, it it was turned into stairs and slabs, of course. Of course it was. Great. So let me just throw these away and while we're on the trip to the nether we can just get some more quartz while we're there. That should be fine. Uh in order for us to go in the order of the quests actually, we'll need to get the quartz before we move on to the nether ores. Again, I don't know why this bug happened. Um and I'm, I'm not sure what caused it, so it's hard for me to troubleshoot it. Um, but I will keep an eye out and keep brainstorming in case anything does happen. I need to throw this colored soul sand away. Perfect. And the obsidian can go, I guess, in useful blocks. Not much use right now, but you know what? It's fine. Yeah, there's already some obsidian in there. Okay. So, without further ado, I'm going to take a crafting table, which is not crafting, believe it or not. Um, useful blocks? Do core blocks. Yes, do core blocks. Perfect. Um, you know what? Better yet, take a crafting station. Uh, we're going to throw this flint steel away just in case we need, um, we need another flint steel. I'm going to take this one. And into the nether we go, hopefully, to find some quartz. I'll see you back when I have some quartz ready to go. Honestly don't know how I missed this when I was in the nether earlier, but like there's quartz right here. So that's always fun. And of course the big men are gonna get mad at me, but there's nothing I can do about that. Hopefully they just don't explode. That'd be ideal. So we have more than enough I think. Yes. Alright, so we just need alright, let's quickly do some nether crafting.
That gives us 20. We need 32. Okay. Um, I guess I should take my crafting table. Yeah, let's take that. Remember that there's another redstone or another coal ore here, uh, and time to find some more. Another quartz. Can I make this jump? We'll see. I can. Congratulations. Okay. Uh, another quartz seems to be up there. Come on, I can, I can grab that right now. Apparently I can't. Okay. There we go. Got the quartz. That's not as much as I thought. Ooh, that did explode. Good to know. Okay. Hmm. That's honestly not the best nether spawn, to be honest. Mm. Could have asked for better, but you know what? I didn't. I didn't ask at all, so you know what? It's fair. 47, is that enough? I'm bad at math. As everyone knows. This should not come as a surprise. Okay, we need, like, a little bit more. Um, it'd be nice if we could like, get over there where like, there's a bunch of things. That'd be awesome. Uh, but... Doesn't seem plausible. I mean, may- actually, maybe it is. Hold on. Maybe it is, in fact, plausible. You can see that's where I, um, died and had to pill back up. It was real fun. I enjoyed that day immensely. Uh, sarcasm is immense. This will be nowhere near enough, I don't- enough, I don't think. But we'll try anyway. Never heard in trying. And it seems I was proven wrong. It is essentially just enough. Amazing. Alright. Jumping down. Good luck. Trying to find my way back. I guess I have way more waypoints, but that may not help as much as I hope it would. Um, we also own new chunks, so it may lag a little bit. Sorry about that. Now, the salt ball looks very much like another quartz ore, unfortunately. Give me all that XP. Get out of there. Don't want to die, at least not today. Okay. Literally just a little bit more. Oh, you're, you're gonna be mad at me, aren't you? Yeah, hi, thanks. Okay, thank you for that. Right. Are you another quartz? Maybe you are? Yeah, I'm not another quartz. You have pigment. Hi, pigment. How are you doing today? I have some armor on, which may or may not help. Likely will help, though, considering the definition of armor. Uh, that's salt. Of course you are. Okay. This looks like another quartz, though. Yes, it is. Perfect. Is there enough? I'm not sure. Probably just want to get more just in case, uh, but there doesn't seem to be much more around, so let's try it. I only got nine from that? You're kidding me. I well, didn't get as much as I thought, um, so that's fair, I suppose. Huh. Okay. Um, I guess. I mean, are you know the quartz? I'm not sure. You're going to be in lava if you are. That's gonna be fun. Yes, you oh, ow, ow, I'm not. Man, stop doing that. Okay. Let's, like, go over here, get some netherrack, stop bleeding, hopefully, maybe. That'd be cool and fun, perhaps. Just a thought. Oh, another quartz. Amazing. Lots of exploding TNT as well. Hopefully, they don't explode. That'd be cool. Um. Okay, that. Got me a lot of nether quartz. Very happy about that. And I can, yeah, I can. You can find it. Amazing. Just, it's my pack, so I, I need to make sure. Because that's the, t I've done that stuff in the past. Um, chiseled. Didn't bring my chisel with me. So, can't do it the cheap way. Um, I guess that's my punishment, I suppose. Or, um, this is my punishment for doing it the cheap way earlier, just having to redo everything. How much do I need? Eight, um, yeah, there we go. Okay. Now are you done? Are you satisfied? No, you're not. Of course you're not. Eight. Okay. Is that the same? I can't remember. How do you make chiseled? Uh, good question, me. 
you make use it slabs. Okay. Want eight of that. Okay, and finally, pillars. What what was I making before? Pillar quartz, and then slab quartz, and then block of quartz, and then I, I don't know. Pillar quartz did want sixteen. Great. Um. All right, so that should be enough. Yes. Okay. Pillar quartz done. And again, I'm going to be throwing all of that away. Like, let's just dump it, in, dump it into the nether void. Hi, bye, bye quartz. You're not legitimate. Sorry to say. There we go. All right. So now, after that whole cleanup. We can move on to what I actually wanted to come to the nether for, which is the nether ores. Yay, nether ores. Alright, so it has the nether gold ore. I can't remember if we completed that or not. Um, I'm going to assume not, though, but just in case I chose the horse one out of the two. We need one nether coal ore, which I know I saw somewhere around here. Maybe not, though. It's fine if I didn't. I know where there is some. And we need nether iron, nether iron ore. Alright, let's go back to base, or back to uh, the nether portal, because I know that there's some, at least some nether coal around there. And of course I will uh, mine any iron or whatever that I come across along the way. Pigmen are still mad at me, question mark? No, they're not. Yay, I can just walk right past them. That's fortunate. Okay, uh, is that another coal? No, that's another tungsten, and it's probably not the best idea to, like, mine it around when, like, pigmen are, like, one block away from me. That'd be cool. Um, another silver. We'll probably need that eventually, I'm sure, but not now. The portal. Is this the portal? No, that's my death point. Wait, where is the portal? I have like so many deaths in the nether, it's insane. Um, portal is up there, okay, good to know. Is this a tunnel to it? Looks like it. It's at least a tunnel to something. Um, oh, Pixie Fairy, cool. That's another coal up there. Oh no, it's not, I lied, it's another big iron, my bad. Um, there was another coal here somewhere, though. Ah! What are you doing? Yeah, that actually legitimately scared me. Okay. Um, oh, there's a gravestone here, of course. I died on day 68.2. Good to know. Um. Alright, so about that coal, it's right here. Shoot. I realized my mistake as soon as I made it. Ah, that sucks. Okay, let's mine. Let's just mine everything with the silk touch pick, just in case. I honestly don't know what will happen. There we go. Uh, that should complete that quest. We'll choose the iron ore, obviously, because we can double that. And then the nether lapis is around here somewhere, I think, I want to say. Maybe? Yes, it is up here. Perfect. So, nether lapis. Ah, that has lava above it. Good to know. Uh, plug that up, perhaps. Thank you. So that gives us the, uh, let's get, get some more nether lapis ore. Amazing. Then, then it wants us to get nether redstone ore. These are pretty easy quests, uh, as you can see. It's kind of, because nether ores are kind of just all around the nether. Um, and so it does follow kind of a logical chain of like, okay, so coal is pretty easy. It's, it's a basic resource, then iron is another basic resource. Then you get into like iron or gold, I guess, and then redstone, which is a bit of a less, uh, a, a bit of a rare commodity, I suppose. I'm not sure if um, nether ores actually spawn in that way or not, but it's just the way I chose to represent it. Thank you. Nether copper. I don't know if I've seen that around. Um. Is Ferris. I mean, I guess I should just be collecting all of this. That probably makes the most sense. Using Silk Touch also, I believe, doesn't make the big men angry, which is nice. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, I will take the 
full excess coal, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that made Pikmin angry because I was not using my silk touch. And the gold. Alright, um, I think this is one of them I still need, right? No, I already completed another goal. I don't know, just in case I didn't. There's another goal. Okay. Uh, now it would be nice to get back to where I initially, or like, was when I had to collect the redstone or quartz or whatever. That'd be cool. But, uh, lapis? We already got lapis, right? It's hard to keep track. So we need, we're looking for copper and diamond and coal still. Ah, shoot. I've. <laughs> When I mined that coal using my non-silk touch for the second time, I thought, man, that really sucks. Okay, shoot. Well, you're lead. I'll take you, I guess. No, exactly what I'm looking for, but I'll need you eventually. Thank you. Um, I think I'll also need sulfur eventually, maybe? Get another mithril. Here's sulfur. Will I need milk fill eventually? I'm not sure. Let me check that. Like, there's saltpeter, of course, there's salt. Very distinct difference. Yeah, there's lead, okay. Yeah, you have still mithril. Are you copper? Ow. Stop. You are dite. Can I mine you? I'm not even sure. No, I can't. Great. And now I, I am trapped in a lava. Great. Um, good to know. Right. I guess I need to find some more nether. I mean, that makes sense, right? Maybe. Are you copper? No, you're ferris. Ferris seems to be everywhere. Don't know why. You're diamond. Yay! Diamond, 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 diamond. Let's make sure like, I actually get you and you don't fall into the lava. That'd be ideal. That should be a quest complete. Yes, it is. Amazing. 16 diamond ore. Yes, please. Except I don't have room for it. Throw so that away. And, like, I don't need sulfur or rotten flesh. All to keep my head. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. Uh, 16 diamond ore. Thank you so much. That's, a, that's actually going to be super useful. Like, we may, with that, we may even be able to get the diamond chest finally. I'm not sure that, don't quote me on that. Um, I'll need to take the salt eventually, I guess. Need to also be keeping an eye out, copper, on the amount of stability on my silk touch pick. Because that is an important issue. If I lose the silk touch pick, that will, will be in some trouble, to say the least. Um, so, for instance, I'm just gonna use. My non silk touch pick on this, but remember to use it on coal, please. Uh, I guess I'll be back when I find anything interesting. Found tin ore, which I don't believe I found yet, so I'm gonna take that. Still haven't found any more coal ore though, unfortunately. Uh, this is, and I say that right as I find coal ore, amazing. I did go back, um, to base real fast and put them some things in the chest and repair my fortune pick with the uh, the iron and some an and an anvil. So yeah, th that's that. Uh, so we have coal, amazing. Collect that, amazing. And we have copper, collect that, amazing. And silver, we have. So that coal was like holding out a lot of stuff, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah. So and we finally have ten claim that. So now we're looking for pig iron and emerald. Those are the things holding us back right now. Wait. Um, and also ghasts are holding us back. But that's fine. I haven't actually found any pig iron. I say as I find pig iron. Um, Alright, so I have, I think I, that wasn't actually my first time finding pig iron. I think I found it earlier this episode. But I haven't found uh, uranium ever. Uh, so, no idea what that would be. Uh, would really love to get rid of this gas, if I'm being honest. However, the um, fireball seems to be very glitchy. Ow. Come on. 
I'm very close to death. Okay, good to know. Yeah, so that cast is gonna be annoying. The spine. Pretty annoying. Um, my god. Gas, can you please just go away? No? You're not gonna go away. Good to know. Yeah, you went away. Okay, um... Yeah, so that was my only real keen interest at this point. Um, I'll keep a lookout for uranium, I guess. That's the only thing I can collect, right? Oh no, platinum as well now. Okay. And pig- oh, I did find pig iron, yay. I, I, yeah, I literally just found pig iron. I'm a bit peckish, so I'm gonna get a, some food, a pig iron platter. I could've also gotten a pig iron ingot, or the ultimate pig iron. I could have made like resources out of the guy and get it or ultimate the guy, but oh well. Hunger and starvation I think is more pressing matters. So um I'll keep looking for some green stuff. It's hard because like there's also another Minisia war, which isn't a quest, so you know, that's a thing. Alright, I'll be back. I found Emerald War. Uh before I found uranium or platinum or anything. Which is nice. Um, I am very far from home though. Um, like very far. So, I'm going to start heading back if I, if I find any ore, then I will come back. But otherwise, if I don't, I'm going to end the episode here. So thank you for watching this video until further notice.